Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial I will show you how to install WordPress in your cPanel step by step. So I start from the point where we already have our host and domain name and here you can see my test website. So our first step is to go to official WordPress website. I will put this link in description and there click on get WordPress and you can download WordPress. After that we have to access our cPanel which we can do by going on our website and typing slash cPanel. To log into your cPanel just type your username and password which is provided by your hosting. So just log in. And my cPanel uses uh, this theme. Your cPanel may use another one so it may look a little bit different. <clears throat> so to upload our WordPress go to files and click on file manager. After that go to public HTML and this directory should be empty. Click on upload and there select file and select your downloaded WordPress. When it turns green and hits 100% it's done so we can just close this one. Now go click on home and let's go to public HTML. Here is our zip file, compressed file, so right click on it and extract. Ok, you can click extract files, close. So you can delete this one, you can just skip the trash. Let's go into WordPress and select all, right click on it and move. So we want to move one step back into public HTML. So just delete WordPress and click move files. So when we go back we can see it's here in public HTML. So now we uploaded our WordPress and the next step is setting up our dot database. So for that go to file manager and go to databases. Here are my SQL databases. Click on it. Before creating your new database I suggest you to open Notepad or some similar app and there we will save our important information like database name, username. Okay, So I will create new database with the name test. This is just for this video and click on create database. Copy that. Okay, that's database name. Click on go back. You can ignore this message. This is just my cheap package with one <laughs> database. So let's create our new user. Uh, <clears throat> I will just type user and I will generate password or you can type your own one. Click. Okay, let's copy that. Let's save it here. Okay. Oh, wrong. It's a user password. Okay, use this password and click on create user. Now copy this. This is our user and save it. Okay. Now go back and now we need to add user to database, which this is it, and just click on add. Okay, you can click on all privileges and make changes. Now we have created our database and user so our next step is to install WordPress on our website and for that go back to your to your uh, website. Now you can choose your language. I will use English and click continue. OK, click let's go. So let's type our database name. Just copy and paste it. Also username. And our password. OK. You can leave uh, those and click on submit. OK, run the installation. Now site title I will type code how and username will be code how you want to save it also 
your WordPress user and your WordPress password. I will use this one, uh, but you can change this one also. And your email, which I will just use something for this video. Okay. Now install WordPress. Okay. Now let's log into our WordPress and type your username and your password, which we created. Okay. Click on it. You can click on remember me and log in. After all steps, we got our WordPress installed. This is our dashboard and you can go and check your website. You can see that this is a default WordPress theme. It's installed on your website. So if I helped you, please subscribe on my channel. It really means a lot to me and thank you for watching.